Since John Haitinga took over as head coach, Kudus has been placed on the right wing, and he has now scored four goals in six matches. As for Dutch national team legend Marco van Basten, he commented on Kudus' impressive performances. Invited by Ziggo Sport, host Jan Mulder gave his assessment of the Ghanaian player, Kudus is Ajax's best player. What a player of class. Why wasn't he always playing under Schroeder? He often sat on the bench there. You let him stay for three or four games, and you immediately see his class. Marco van Basten agrees and compares Kudus to Antony, who is now at Manchester United. In fact, I like him much better than Antony. He's a better footballer and he's more fun to play with. Antony moves, but he can also be very chaotic. Kudus has much stronger technique and knows where he's going. Antony may be faster, but Kudus is smarter and more technical. He's more than a footballer and a versatile player for the team. Ajax midfielder Mohamed Kudus paid tribute to the late Ghanaian footballer Christian Atsu during his team's match against Sparta Rotterdam on February 19, 2023. Under FIFA Law 12, a player is automatically shown a yellow card by the referee if they remove their jersey to celebrate a goal. The law was implemented on July 1, 2004, and approved by the International Football Association Board FAB, at the IFAB's 118th annual meeting in London. However, after violating the rule, the referee who officiated the match, Paul van Bokel, did not show a yellow card to the Ghanaian footballer. In an interview, Kudus explained that the referee told him that he understood his situation and added that what Kudus did was for humanitarian and solidarity reasons. Kudus himself stated that he felt indebted to the referee for understanding him, and that his goal celebration was to give a final tribute to the late Christian Atsu and to all the victims of the earthquake in Turkey. Meanwhile, the match between Ajax and Sparta Rotterdam ended with a 4-0 victory for Kudus' team.